Recently, I had a subscriber of mine uh, send me a question that he wanted me to answer. And, uh, you know, if you have a question that you want answered, uh, uh, go ahead and email me and I can try to answer it or uh, try to give you my insight or whatever the case may be. But I thought it was a pretty good question. So how do you predict Europe being split as a 10 nation governing body? Uh, Europe has been divided the last 100 years. Uh, uh, in so many different ways, there seems to be so many. Uh, there seems to be a multitude of possibilities. He wrote, and this is what I wrote back. Or we'll be sending him an email out. Uh, uh, I it was a little bit more elaborate than what probably he was looking for, but he said, "I fully expect the European Union to be forced into a two-speed uh, Europe with the ten most economically fit nations moving forward." Uh, these ten nations will make up the kingdom of the coming Antichrist. As many of you know, uh, the Bible is pretty clear that uh, the European Union will likely be the coming uh, ten kingdom nations that uh, will lend their power to uh, the Antichrist. That's found in Daniel uh, 9:27, and also it talks about it in uh, Revelation 17:12 uh, and 13. And now this block of nations will not form a central army, but will remain autonomous, uh, lending their power to him. I frankly don't believe that the European Union, now they're talking right now about uh, creating an army. I, frankly, I don't believe that's going to happen. I think uh, the Bible is pretty clear. It says that these ten nations will lend their power to the Antichrist. And I believe that they're basically going to stay as ten separate nations who will lend their power to him. In other words, they will agree together to uh, give the Antichrist full power. Certainly they're not going to know that he's the Antichrist at the time and uh, probably never will, but the bottom line is that's where the Bible says uh, he will arise out of. And uh, as I brought to you before, the uh, uh, central governments of the European Union right now are looking for, in fact, the foreign policy, I'm sorry, the foreign ministers of the European Union are at this time looking to lend their power to a certain man. They're actually looking for someone to make as the, their permanent president who will have uh, far-reaching powers more than the present uh, uh, leaders do have. I go on by saying it is unlikely these ten nations will be grouped together until after the rapture of the church. They will probably begin their formation following the rapture. It is my belief that the rapture will likely set off a major panic that will send the global financial markets into a downward tailspin. It will be so bad that uh, uh, no government bailout will be able to rescue them. Markets from around the world will be in near collapse. You know, as Hebrews 20, or 10.25 says, that uh, we should assemble ourselves that much more as we say, see the day coming. You know, I believe that we can see, this, see the day coming uh, when the Lord will rapture the church or when he will come back as well. And I believe right now that uh, many uh, Bible prophecy experts and watchers out there are seeing that day coming as we speak. Simply put, we can't all be wrong. You know, I I know we just got over the uh, holiday, the Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah, uh, just a couple uh, weeks ago, and it seems like every about every year about this time, somebody starts uh, talking about uh, this particular Feast of Trumpets, a holiday, being a time in which uh, uh, the Lord could come back and rapture the church. Of course, I and I understand the background of it and and how it relates and that the it's a, it's over a several day period of time and they're trying to say well because of that that uh, no man can know the day nor the hour but the problem is this right here is that the bible says in so many different ways uh that this will be a time in which you will see the day coming there'll be a season in which you'll see it coming if if it's going to be a, a special holiday uh, once that holiday is passed you no longer see the day coming so what i'm trying to say is this right here is that uh, I don't. I, I certainly don't believe that it's uh, the rapture is going to fall on the Feast of Trumpets and all. But uh, you know, I know a lot of people feel that that's a possibility. And you know, I won't rule out any day. Any day. Uh, there's 365 days out of a year. I do believe that we are in the season, and that the Lord could rapture the church at any moment. Now, getting back to what I said, I believe it will be through this unprecedented worldwide financial near collapse that the world will first take notice of the Antichrist. He probably won't be known at this time, but I do believe that he probably, uh, people will start raising their eyebrows and say, wow, this is not just a leader, this is, uh, this is a super leader. You may not know this, but the Bible says that uh, the coming Antichrist will be unlike any other leader the world has ever known. He'll be a, he will be a sensational leader that no one, the likes of which no one has ever seen. 
The Bible says that through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. That's found in Daniel 8.25a. Now a lot of people believe that is talking about deception. And frankly, I do too. I believe it's talking about deception. But I believe that a part of that deception is going to be an economic deception. In other words, he's going to cause... He's going to fool the world into believing that he's going to turn the economic uh, fortunes of the world around and that through him they're going to be, there's going to be peace and prosperity. It is conceivable he will deceive the world into believing his financial policies will save the world from certain collapse. The phrase cause craft to prosper leads me to believe he will be successful in his attempt to stabilize the global markets and even uh, bring prosperity. Now it is unknown uh, whether or not he will be fully revealed at this time. It's more likely this near miraculous financial turnaround will be will uh, set the stage for greater things to come. The Bible says he will ultimately burst onto the world stage through his peace plan with many nations, including Israel, found in Daniel 9:27. This will be his greatest accomplishment to date. But shortly after he brings peace, global war will break out. And it's found in Revelation, what I believe in Revelation 6, 3 through 8, in which uh, the first four seals uh, will be uh, broken and opened. And uh, when, by the time it's all said and done, uh, many, many will have died. I believe this will be, this will, uh, uh, be sparked by an attack on Israel by Russia and their Islamic alliance as they come down on Israel as a great storm found in Ezekiel 38 9 now this is a little controversial to some because uh, um, you know what I, I believe is this right here and this is this is where I get this I believe that uh, the Bible says in, in uh, Ezekiel 38 in various parts of I think it's verse 8 verse 11 verse uh, verse 14 I believe it says that Israel at the time of the attack will be living in peace and safety now, I know that many believe that uh, before this attack takes place that there will be a Psalm 83 war that will take place uh, in which Israel will not only uh, fight back their neighbors from, uh, from uh, attacking them, but they will take some of their land. Uh, well, the problem is this right here. The, uh, with that being the case, Many say that this will bring about a time of peace and safety with Israel. But the problem is, 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 is this, that even if Israel d destroys all of their neighboring enemies, takes all of their land, that still doesn't take care of their most uh, notable uh, to date enemy, and that is Iran. Iran, even though uh, this will, if this does take place in which they destroy all their enemies, take all their land, Iran's still going to be pursuing a nuclear weapon. There's still going to be a nuclear threat to Israel. That is not going to set the, set the pace for them to uh, fulfill the scriptures that says that they will be living in peace and safety when Russia, Iran, and their allies come crashing down upon them in Ezekiel 38 and 39 in the Gog and Magog war. That's a big problem. That's a huge problem uh, for this particular belief. So I have a hard time uh, embracing this belief because of this major hole that uh, simply cannot be filled by a Psalm 83 scenario prior to uh, the uh, Gog and Magi war. But if you see no hole in this situation, then uh, you're welcome to believe what you uh, feel you think is correct. But going forward with this, I frankly believe that once the Psalm, or I'm sorry, once the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war commences, I believe that there probably will be, uh, on the heels of a Magog and Magog war, that the that the Israel's neighbors will will join in uh, in uh, attacking on Israel and will be caught up in the fray. So I actually believe it's a reversal of what many believe. I think that the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war will take fir take uh, t uh, place first, followed by uh, the other nations that surround Israel getting in on the battle. Now, getting back to the Antichrist, w whether or not the Antichrist and his kingdom will come to the aid of Israel is unknown. Frankly, I suspect he will write off Israel as a Middle East experiment that has outlived its usefulness. As this war commences, Israel's neighbors will likely join in with, Is with Russia spreading the attack throughout the greater part of the Middle East. But uh, to everyone's astonishment, Israel will be divinely saved by God. 
I will say this, I do believe the Antichrist eventually will, uh, and his kingdom will uh, eventually be forced to enter this war, but it probably won't be until after uh, it is evident uh, they could be the target of a nuclear weapon. In a major series of preemptive strikes, the world will be engulfed in nuclear war. When it's all said and done, one quarter of the world's population will be destroyed, which is found in Revelation 6.8. We know from Scripture at least four nations will survive. Israel, the kingdom of the Antichrist, Egypt, and the kings of the east. One thing you should probably keep in mind is that even if Israel does expand its boundaries and borders, um, after this war, much of the land probably within uh, uh, these uh, different nations that they have uh, taken over, well, their land will, will probably be un uninhabitable meaning that uh, after a nuclear war of this nature uh, much of the land will probably be not fit will probably not be fit to inhabit or to uh, grow any type of crop or whatever the case may be now of course uh, this is simply speculation on my part I'm taking scripture and putting in the uh, order in which I feel probably is the most likely so I hope this has given you a clearer picture of what uh, could possibly happen once the rapture of the church t takes place and what could lead into uh, the uh, introduction of the Antichrist. Of course I always like to close with the message that uh, of salvation that you too if you do not know the Lord as Savior today you can. Uh, you, no man will see God without uh, uh, having the Lord as their Savior. So if you have not made that decision uh, simply put your time is running out you need to uh, like I said you could die today and if you die today and you don't know the Lord your home your eternal home will be hell and eventually the lake of fire so you want to make sure that uh, before you uh, turn this video off that uh, you, you 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 have a positive uh, affirmation that you do know the Lord Jesus Savior you know it's simply put it's it's nothing more than just saying Lord I do believe that you died on the cross for me, that you uh, paid for my sins. I repent of my sins, and I accept you as my Lord and Savior from this day forward. Uh, it's nothing more than that, just acknowledging that he's Lord, that you're a sinner, and you need a Savior. And uh, you too can know the Lord as Savior today. Uh, well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.